Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Callum and I'm a software tester. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the importance of programming languages and how as a software tester or quality assurance engineer, you might want to learn uh, possibly these three languages. Now in previous videos, I've mentioned that you don't have to be technical to get into QA or software testing. But guys, if you are going into technology, then you might want to think about getting a foundational layer of a programming language or just the technical basic skills. Now before some of you who aren't that technical and say they don't know any programming languages or anything like that, don't worry, don't run a mile. There's lots of content out there to help you. There's lots of places you can go to start learning and building the skills. And although it'll help you in interviews as a skill, it's not essential for a software tester to know a programming language in and out. So as a QA, why would you want to know a programming language or know some type of code that you could write? Well, essentially, if you have these skills, then there will be a few benefits to you, especially if you don't have a job yet, that you'll be able to show you do have an interest in technology, you do have the technical skills required. But also, once you get into the job, you're gonna be finding that you're gonna be working with the developers who are code heavy, and it can really help you understand some of the work that they're doing. So with that being said, let's get into the first programming language. So guys, it's really important to remember that if you're starting to embark upon a coding journey and you're learning a programming language, you wanna start off as easy as you can. And I believe the first language that you should be learning is HTML. Now what is HTML? Well, to go a bit very briefly, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it's essentially the backbone, the skeleton, of what web pages are. Now, if you've ever dived into this topic, you'll know that there are various other languages around here and it's HTML as such is not really a programming language, um, but it's certainly something that is used to code and is a really good first language to start learning if you don't know where to begin. So why did I mention HTML specifically for software testers? Well, other than the fact that it's really easy to learn and is one of the best languages to get started, there's gonna be a lot of jobs in manual software testing that are based around web pages and websites. And having a little bit of knowledge of how those websites hang together is going to be key if you wanna start looking under the hood how a web page works. There are a few sites including like Code Academy that will go through with you and go through your very first lessons of HTML and you should find that you're able to create your first web page within a matter of minutes. And moving on, the second programming language which I highly recommend you learn and is actually very similar and links very heavily to the previous language and that is JavaScript. So guys, JavaScript is still in the world of web if you're a software tester, JavaScript you'll often come across still within web pages. So if you've looked into this topic before, you'll know that you've got, essentially got three languages for web, and that one of them being HTML, the other CSS, and the other last one, JavaScript. You can think of these languages very simply as doing the following things for a web page. Imagine you have a house, and this is a bare bone house. There's nothing, nothing, no decorations inside, doesn't have an oven, doesn't have a cooker, doesn't have a doorbell, anything like that. If you've just got the house, which are the walls and the actual foundations are all there, then you've got your HTML. The second potential thing you might want to do is a bit of decorating in the house. You might want to add some paintings, paint the walls and style your house a certain way. This would be CSS. And then finally, last but not least for that house, you'll probably want to start thinking about some sort of cooker, a doorbell, uh, a bathroom, so you have a working house, you have a functioning house, and this would be JavaScript. Long of the short, whilst HTML allows you to build that kind of basic level of programming knowledge, JavaScript is going to be the first real programming language that you'd probably learn. Learning JavaScript as a software tester will give you the fundamental knowledge that you need to know for most programming languages. Here in JavaScript, you'll be introduced to stuff like variables, functions and methods. Again, why JavaScript for software testers? Well, if you're going into software testing, then it's more than likely, as I said before, that there are just jobs out there for software testers who are just web-based and they would test websites and online web stuff. And on the other hand, even if you're a more general software tester, uh, being that a 
manual software tester for maybe a phone or an app, or like myself, a more general software tester who dabbles in a bit of everything, then JavaScript you're gonna find is probably one of the most useful languages that you should know. JavaScript has a bunch of different libraries, something like Jest, which I use myself, uh, which was actually made by Meta, made by Facebook, and this will help you when you're doing testing on stuff, automate your tests for you. With JavaScript, you can essentially start to think of it as your journey to becoming a more well-rounded software tester and potentially lean into the side of software automation. And I can almost guarantee you guys that if you go into software automation testing, then JavaScript will be a programming language that at some point you come across and use. Okay, so moving on, and we've kind of done the web side of stuff now. I feel now is more of a time to introduce a programming language that you should know and go into a more of a scripting type of language. So if you've ever done any research on programming languages, you'll know that by far one of the most easiest scripting programming languages to learn and one of the best for general purpose is Python. So why learn Python as a software tester? Well really, I think there are three main points to this. And of course, as I kind of mentioned earlier on, it's a good general purpose language, but more so leaning on the fact that it's really easy to learn and easy to read. As a software tester, it will be kind of fairly easy for you to pick it up and look at scripts going along and understanding what the script is doing. Python was really created around its readability. What this is gonna allow you to do is really to focus on the testing logic rather than learning the actual syntax. Reason number two is that Python has extensive test automation support. With programming languages, there are things called frameworks and libraries, and these are like little additions to the language that developers make over time to enhance and enrich the language itself. Python has a lot of support and testing libraries for specifically test automation. Some of the most well-known are PyTest, Selenium, and Robot Framework. Again, with Python, although it is a more general purpose language, you actually still have test libraries that can help for the automation of web testing, even though it's not a web language as such. Third and final reason I believe Python is a really good language for software testers to learn is its rich ecosystem and kind of support for the people learning Python. Python is a big, big language and has a really vast community uh, full of open source projects that you can learn with and contribute to over time. Stuff like some of the request libraries, Beautiful Soup, lots of weird and wonderful projects to go out, explore, and for some of them, add to. And yeah, the Python community is very active, so you've got a lot of active users that are using it all the time, furthering the language, and it's not really a language that's going away anytime soon. If you're new to testing, then this is kind of what you want. You want that community that's there to support you and when you choose a language to know that you're gonna have the ability to learn and pick up things and go from zero to hero. And yeah, it's like, it's, it's quite, for myself at least, it's quite a big task of learning to program. But once you're on the road and you start going, then you'll only get better and it does speed up, I promise you. You, you At some point you will get away from like just printing stuff, I, I promise you. But anyway guys, that is it. So for my three main languages, I would highly recommend, as I said, let's just go over them and recap, HTML, uh, JavaScript, and Python. Now actually as a bonus tip, as a bonus programming language, something that I think you might want to learn or have at least a little bit of knowledge around, is database languages. So that's stuff like SQL and uh, potentially, although this is a bit more specific, um, Ruby on Rails and kind of database languages, sort of back-end languages. But if you were to choose one, just go out, choose SQL, and that should have you sorted. SQL is a really good language just to have an awareness of because although there are front-end and back-end languages, there are also particular languages that sit just purely within databases and it's going to really help you as a software tester um, when writing scripts when you need to retrieve information from a database. I hope this cleared up uh, some of the misconceptions if you had any about where to start, where to look for programming languages and I hope it makes sense why I picked those three. That is by no means saying that you have to start with those three. Uh, you might have heard from another source about starting a different language, you know, go ahead, start there, see how you do. Take as much time as you need to learn a language and 
This is one thing that I'll say is that once you've learned one language, programming languages such as JavaScript or Python, if you've got a good foundational base knowledge of that, then it is pretty easy to transfer over into other languages. So you're definitely not restricted. Thank you to the person, I'll put the comment here, who's asked this question. Uh, it was really good kind of just to clear it up. But that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching and wherever you are, have a nice rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.